What's going on guys, Dustin Hanson here, back with another video. Sorry, I have been slacking hard on filming, but uh, we picked the FD up from Nick's house. We are about to get ready for work, and then I'm going to take the FD. So let's go outside, I'll show you guys um, the intercooler piping that he did. It still needs to be painted and all that good stuff, but for now we can drive it to work. So let's go show you guys FD. guys bad news so i got out from work this thing you can still see it has just been smoking like crazy I'm pretty sure it is burning oil and check this shaft play out and you can see look how bad that is so oh yeah looking like a rebuild for sure so i tried pulling this thing in the garage get it all back then i cleaned it out try to get it back in there and this turbo is not even spinning anymore it is so bad so we are gonna i mean it spins but it's very slow so we're gonna go ahead and yank it out honestly i'm debating between getting another borg warner s362 sxe or um rebuilding this one or going with the one of the EFR turbos um, was looking into getting the 8374. So there's one locally, and I could have it here by Tuesday and then go EFR, get the old spool train going. So I don't know. I'm still deciding. I gotta, I gotta wait to hear back from my buddy um, who has a connection at the turbo Zentrum shop here. So we'll see Monday if they're closed for their German holiday today and tomorrow. So we'll see. But for now, we're gonna start pulling it apart and getting ready to swap the turbo. All right guys, so the intercooler piping is off, which need to be painted anyways. But um, I looked inside of here and we have a bunch of oil on this little lip. You can see, it's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, so this thing definitely, hopefully it could be rebuilt. I'm, not, I don't know too much about turbos to be honest and rebuilding them, but I'm um, gonna take it to a shop and they said they think they could rebuild it, so we'll see. Well, I just clocked the turbo and look at this all this oil on the bottom coming out. So, yeah, cheese fried. Alright, guys, it's the next day. <clears throat> I got the exhaust taken off, I got the turbo blanket taken off. Um, I already could see. You can tell there's a bunch of oil in the exhaust. So that is probably why I was smoking. But we're gonna go ahead and zip this thing off. And we'll pull out the CHRA and take a look at it. Alright, so the turbo's out. Um, it's got some oil back here, so it definitely was burning oil, as you can see. I cannot get this thing to spin, the CHRA. It is stuck in there. I took everything off, so I don't know if she's toast or not. I'm going to try spraying some penetrating fluid in here to maybe loosen it up, because I can't get this little half moon off without cause it's hitting the oil feed. So I need to twist it but um yeah we're gonna spray some penetrating fluid in it let it sit and then on monday we will bring this to the shop um 
So I talked to a shop here locally. It is going to be 300 euros, which is like 330 bucks. It's nothing too crazy to rebuild that full rebuild. They said it'll be perfect. They'll clean it, everything. It'll be basically brand new. Or I could buy a new one, um, which would save me time. Uh, not really, actually. It's going to be the same turnaround regardless if I rebuild it or buy a new one. Um, I could buy a new one and that'll be here next week, Thursday. And same, they said it'll be about a three day turnaround. So I think I'm gonna have them rebuild it. I was gonna go with the EFR turbo, but honestly, I just can't justify spending um, 2,200 bucks plus for this thing. I'd have to put an, uh, coolant feed and coolant return lines to feed that turbo. This one's only oil cooled and the uh, EFRs are uh, both oil and coolant. So I don't know. I can't justify wasting that much money on this one. This isn't my main FD. This is just the one I have here. So um, need to save money for the three rotor back in the States. So I think we're just gonna rebuild this one for now. Um, maybe I'll order another one on the side. I have a feeling this one is bad. I don't know too much about rebuilding turbos. I've never rebuilt one. So need to do some reading, but I, I don't know. Hopefully it's saveable, and then maybe I'll just spend 300 bucks and toss it up for sale, fresh rebuild, and then I'll use a new one. I don't know, we'll see, but it's out. So now we're pretty much just waiting until Monday. So that is it for this video. You guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.